Oh, okay. There we go. The day is December 22nd, 1932. It is the winter solstice. Anchorage is cold and grim. The roads are slick with ice and visibility is poor. The sun shines for fewer than six hours of precious daylight. It's currently 10, 15 a.m. and the sun has just risen. You are agents of the organization. who have been stuck here for the last few weeks tracking down this source of Aurora Blue, a sensationally popular bathtub gin that has poisoned to death over a dozen victims. Yesterday, you confirmed that the eerie turquoise and purple hued liquor is a product of the Beaker family, distilled at their property in the foothills of the Ch Chugach Mountains. After telegraphing your findings to your field office in Seattle, you received orders to halt your investigation immediately. After Christmas, the organization will send agents to raid the Beaker at Gatman and make an arrest. You know what that means. The Bureau intends to send privileged agents to take over your investigation and claim the glory. Once again, no credit for all your hard work and accomplishments, not this time. You are pushing forward, ignoring orders and carrying out the raid on the Beaker cabin yourself. If you fail, you know those who have spread the lies about you will feel validation. But if you succeed, you hope your hard work might finally earn you some respect. Our story begins as you approach the edge of the Beaker property in a government-issued Ford Model T. Dense snow covers the ground and with more still falling, large clumps strike the car's roof as it passes underneath overhanging cabin canopy of pine trees uh so it's from is it from the back end or you guys will be coming in here okay well could i have a sawed off 1897 <laughs> can you just give me uh the same thing miser has it'll be easier sawed off 1897 pretty much the trench gun <laughs> yeah i probably can get you one uh, and go. i'll take what is miser have the m18 think or yeah um, yeah i'm am am smaller is it because i suck no it's because i'm terrible at sizing <laughs> i was just fucking with you man you, you know i thought we'd have a nice christmas for once yes, i'm so tired of not getting paid i'm getting oh. tired of being called upon for this weird shit are you guys getting paid no they pay me in cigarettes and you just watch as Douglas pulls out a pack. They don't even let me keep some of the weird, funny little antiques that I could sell off. Oh, no. Know, like... It's like, oh no, these are dangerous to humanity and these are valuable research subjects. Like, god damn it, it's just a nice little gold necklace. That was the... Are you talking about the wire that reacted to Morse code? No. We burned oh. that shit. Well, I don't know if you kept it. Wait, are you talking about the weird oblong kind of skull pendant that we saw that one time? Yes. Why? That was literally speaking in tongues. It shut up after a while. I mean, I did glue its mouth it's shut. Talking, I shot it! Yes, and I glued the mouth shut so I can use it as a pendant. Night And basically boil it in gold. Why do they still send me with you guys? I don't know why they still keep calling keep me up. Alive. <laughs> you just look at the fucking... Now I just imagine on Douglas's back he's got like... You know how they have like a holster for sword? It's just a holster for his fucking shovel and a handgun on his hip. I said I, I, said I want to say uh, Death Course of <laughs> Krieg. <laughs> I, fucking, I love how I went from a psycho... From like this panicked guy to basically he... Just, Carries a fucking shovel and a handgun is ready to fight. All he needs is a gas mask and you're good to go, buddy. Oh my fucking god, no. <laughs> Turn into a fucking creek marine. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> fucking death world. Look, I mean, you guys can survive, like, the I last time where Emil almost shot his own foot. Or the time so, of. What'd you say, Moogle? Yeah, what's up? Uh, I need a uh, spot hidden from whoever's driving. Uh, okay, I that's think me. it's like been established I, that Miguel mostly drives. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. what, what damage would a shotgun be? Uh, just a moment. It's... Yeah, yeah, I think he's gonna have it. Spot hidden, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm too, I'm too busy bitching. <laughs> okay, do you have the standards for the, the revolver? Homestead? 
Mariner. Um, I have handgun, so you I don't have, have any. You, you don't have a stat, the stats for the gun? Uh, wait, uh, do I do? Uh, oh, I didn't put it in. Um, do I have to add it manually? Cause, or do you asking, do I, like, actually have the, like, actual thing on my sheet? Yeah, do you have it on your sheet? Or do you, do you, do you know the stats? Uh, handgun is 20. Come on, I can no, tell. Goober. <laughs> the actual stats for a gun. Oh. No. Sorry, I'll do it. Sorry. <laughs> Mariner's dumb. But thank you. Uh, how do I add? Oh, yeah, I got to add it on. And, uh, That's a great Krieg Marine cosplay. Hell yeah. That really is. Um, okay, firearm skill one. Damage is... Let's see, are we talking 12 gauge, 20 gauge, uh, 16 gauge? 10. <laughs> I wish one we had 10. <laughs> Range is 15 yards. Uh, it looks like it was a 16 gauge. What's the three and the six, Moogle? Is that ammo? Uh, six is the ammunition, yes. And three is mm. use. I, I think. But oh, uh, okay. It's one shot, but, but yeah. Oh, but six, but three until I have to reload and it holds six. Or something like that, I would imagine. No, that, that's, there's another ability where you kind of fan the hammer kind of thing. It's... Oh, so how many you can, like, expend, like, if you use the maximum. Okay. You just panic fire. And then its cost is 30, and then malfunction is 100. Uh, okay, let me uh -huh. have malfunction on. Oh, wow, the one thing Mariner can actually hit. <laughs> okay, so for a 16 gauge... I just googled World War One trench gun. <laughs> oh wait, now should I put it in the wrong thing? Hold on. Holy fuck! That's a lot of fucking math. What? Okay. You... So close, middle, far. So ten yards, twenty yards, fifty yards. Yeah. One or two. It holds. It only holds it's two the, rounds. It's a double it's barrel. A double barrel. It's not a pump. They don't have it for pump. Thump, I guess. Thump. <laughs> Fuck, I'm out. Fuck it. I'm in. I love it. Okay. okay. I I was just testing it. All right. Good. It works. All right. Um. Well, there's only like one slot for damage, so. I yeah. That. I think you just put them together. Um. Just put in the first one. Yeah. That, that was my plan. Oh no! I see how it is. It's based on the yardage of how you're firing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you just gotta remember if. You, well, I imagine you're also going to want to get up close and personal. We're trying not oh, yeah, to, absolutely. but <laughs> at the same time, our enemies aren't really giving us that uh, option. Uh, malfunction is also 100. Okay. It is a double barrel. Those things are sturdy. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, fuck. Finally, you rolled. Oh, my God. What damage. I rolled so well. I rolled almost max damage. Damn. Well, uh, enjoy seeing that because you'll never see it again. Never True. say never, buddy. We might. No, I'm saying never for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did whoever driving told me a spot check, right? Yeah. Yes, I, I failed. failed. He failed. I need you to do me a drive auto check. Oh, oh shit! No. <laughs> Here we go, guys. <laughs> we're gonna flip the car as we're bitching about Christmas. Holy shit! You put it into you, you put it in the snowbank and don't do any damage, but uh, you almost ran into a tree that would have completely destroyed your car. What the fuck, Miguel? God damn fucking tree! Damn nature! It hasn't been ten fucking minutes. What oh. the fuck? Ah, shut up, you! You're not the one who owns the car. I own it. I'm yeah. driving. That being said, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, it's technically a government owned. We're just leasing it. <laughs> no, it's mine now. Work for the government. It's mine now. They haven't given me any proper payment. I'm taking this as payment. <laughs> but that also being said, I'm going to just 
quickly uh, flip the tree. Fuck you, tree! You shouldn't be in the middle of the road! It's not! It, the road's it, over it, there! <laughs> I was gonna say, have you never driven in a snowbank before? Not this deep of a snowbank? Shit. Every time we go on a mission, we're farther and farther away from fish. That is not an illegal weapon in the 1920s. You could buy it from a Sears and Robot catalog. Wait, who are you talking to? Oh, just this... It's saying a Thompson is a freaking illegal weapon, and it's like, you could buy them from a fucking Sears and Robot catalog. Yeah, in the 1920s, absolutely. Wait, who said it was an illegal weapon? The book. Google. Oh. Oh, oh the book. The book is Google, technically. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess I get my leather coat fixed because uh, I'm going to keep that shit. Yeah. It kept me alive last time. I had I had a new one. I had to get a new one. <laughs> Mine was singed. <sighs> Alright, so we're in the middle of a snowbank. I think it's the lowest luck. Uh, uh, I think me right now. 44. Oh. Yeah, mine's at like 25. Yeah, 39. Uh, the investigator with the lowest luck finds himself covered in foul smelling fruit mush. What the fuck? Crab, laden with giant crab apples. Okay, Douglas. We can do this. We have one more job and they'll never call Swollen, us again. And you won't watching this. fruit are now rolling in the side of the vehicle. Their stench is putrid. What okay, the fuck? Oh, after, huh? you'll, you'll never see these people again after this. And we'll uh, never it. Okay. Ugh. This smells worse than the goddamn situation with the... I thought we were playing cards next Saturday. We'll see him again after two weeks and we won't associate again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Can we get out of the fucking car? Yeah. Yeah. That just immediately hops out and just starts fucking Ooh. brushing all that shit off. <sighs> God. Just God. So if somebody wants to do a mechanical repair roll. I don't think any of us are good at that. <laughs> you know what? For shits and giggles, because we're... I look at it and go, that shit's broke. If I if I roll a nap one, one on this, I'm going to kill myself. Do it, buddy. Okay, good. Yeah, the car's fucked. Hood's crumpled. Definitely cut out. You ain't sure what's going to do that. Ah... Uh... Not my problem. Drive anymore. No, it is our problem because we need to either steal one of their cars after we definitely don't murder everyone here because there's crazy yeah. moonshiners and have been associating with elder gods. What the or fuck's an whatever. elder god? They said they um they said gin, right? Correct. Gin. Yeah. Jinners, they make gin. You can okay. also moonshine gin. Okay. Called okay. Bathtub okay. Gin. I've heard that, but that sounds funny as fuck. <laughs> well, y'all just looks at the car. To, uh... If you <laughs> moonshining is just distilling liquor in the woods. Uh, okay. <laughs> Miguel looks at the car, looks at uh, Emil, looks at Douglas, looks back to Emil. Well, this car is total shit. I'd say we go get a car from them. It was a fucking Model T. Why are we even in a fucking Alaska in Alaska for Christmas? Well, hey, at least you'd be close to Santa Claus, we, okay, we, for the North Pole. I literally are we in Alaska? Alaska? I literally yes, we are. fucking yeah. Alaska. How the fuck did we get to Alaska? Look at the bottom. The, look, look at the bottom. The or, basically, basically, the organization flew us out, it's assumed. You're outside of Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> yeah. But it's, 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 it's like, I'm assuming at this point the organization is funding us, but they just don't, they want to dissociate for all the shit we do. But they, 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 told, they told me I was coming out here to research the salmon run. Isn't that in Oregon? There's a salmon run in Alaska too, jackass. <laughs> Is there? Yes. Yes. No, I know. I'm playing the oh. character because yeah. I don't know fucking fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of feeding the demons this character. That was, yeah, no, that was Miguel. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make the train no, happen. No, no, no. No, no, not you. Fucking Moogle. <laughs> <I'm> making... <laughs> 
<laughs> There's both of them. <laughs> I need to as well. But uh, Miguel just adds, I mean, I was told to get some really awesome uh, artifacts and antiques up here from the Inuits. I was told I could finally be alone. Also, the word is Inuits. A little insensitive to call them Indians. No, That's exactly what I just said, didn't I not? I might be deaf from all the fucking fruit in my ears. Take the damn cigarette out your mouth. No. no it's it's still in your senses. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, are we having this loud ass conversation as we walk? I imagine we yes, all have yes, you before we, we go anywhere. Yes, we are. are. The road to the beaker cabin is slick with ice. Trudging forward wears on the investigators' feet, lower backs, and shoulders. The uh, slow rate of travel steadily eats away at the remaining daylight. Falling snow grows thicker. Soon it obscures everything beyond a few feet. Cold air makes breathing difficult. I think being in Maine would have prepared me for this bullshit. You think being broke in the Bronx would have prepared me for this goddamn crazy shit? Fucking A. This shit sucks. I'm from California. Roll me somebody. <laughs> roll me a listen check. Uh, let me see what my listen is. I don't think. Is it good. somebody or all? All. Oh. Oh, okay. What is my is listen? Tough. Fifty-five. Brothers. Why? Why? I how? <laughs> have oh, I, 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 has I, anybody I, seen a fucking seventy? My... There we go. <laughs> I imagine you two are bickering and then Douglas is just fucking zoning in as per usual as he's smoking. Well, what you hear is a huff of a large animal in the snatch of a step of a branch nearby. A mother moose and her calf step boldly out from the trees just 30 feet away. Uh, what the guys. fuck is that? Right, the fuck rest is of you who failed to find yourself 20 feet away. Uh... And I need a sanity roll. Wait, because. Uh... This moose are enormous, but these two are naturally enlarged. Oh, gee, man. The mother's oh the mother moose's mammary glands are swollen and dripping yellow milk onto the snow. The infant, still wobbly on its legs, possesses three heads, each with bulging eyes. Its six pupils roll about deliriously, giving off an oddly changing color of blue, green, teal, and purple. Oh, no. How? How have oh. I rolled this many fucking 90s? Damn. <laughs> what elder god did you actually piss off? I don't know, but somebody so... in my past life had some explaining to do. Where's Douglas's? Uh, oh, my sanity? I thought because I passed my listen because I pushed. I no, didn't... no, you just seeing okay. this thing is horrifying. Motherfucker! Alright, Miguel, you lose one. The other two, you lose... Three. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that would put me at... I'm at, I'm at 69. Nice. 58. <laughs> so as you guys approach, the snow does thin and it becomes a dirt road. Which is kind of odd. Hey, remember when you guys told me these are regular moonshiners? They're just people. They're not just fucking people. Considering the fucking moose we just saw, they're <clears throat> definitely not. They're not just fucking people. I was wondering if I should have shot the damn thing. They might be fucking I... people, but... Well, th well that's... Th I thought about it too, but then I didn't want to alert the, you know, fucking crazy moonshiners who were obsessed with uh, just making extra heads and looking purple. So oh, you guys can uh, make me an intimidator animal handling role. Oh, God. Gee, but something you might be good at. No. Really? Like, there is no animal handling. Yeah, there or at least no. it's not called animal handling. I uh, think it's... I'm looking. Can I roll zoology? Sure. Hey! Gee, best. Gee, best. That is my third 90 in a row. <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> okay, man, I gotta find intimidation on my sheet. Oh, I just right, that's um, 94, 99, 96. I'm looking if there is any animal handling. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, mathematics, additional library. Oh, I'm account. sorry. It's my fourth 90 in a row because I rolled a 91 on the mechanical repair. Can I interest you on in a credit rating on how to sell these moose some insurance? No. <laughs> okay, 
Holy shit! <laughs> you I are hate you. No, I, I hate know. you. <laughs> okay, I'll tell what I do. I am sick and tired of all this shit, and Douglas just fucking slams the shovel like into the ground. I'm tired of fucking spending my Christmas in a fucking cold ass place. Moose uh, and his mother or the, do and the child run off. Good. To uh, avoid uh, getting attacked. Let's get in this place and fucking get out. And Douglas puts the shovel on his back and keeps walking. The el an elder god from the far off galaxy says, This man will be the originator of the Krieg Death Corps. <laughs> I'm... I am so glad I passed that, so we did take damage. And it makes- it's such in-character for Douglas. Finally, at 1.45pm, you see the beaker cabin ahead. It is a dilapidated, single-story wooden building surrounded by overgrown orchard trees and hemmed by the forests of the rising Chugach Mountains. Overgrown vines and weeds climb the walls as well as the property in general. Beyond the cabin, a ridge line looks down to a gurgling river. Fresh air feels unseasonably warm, and any snow on or around the cabin has melted. As you look at the property, the sun is setting, half hidden behind the mountain. What the fuck? Uh, God, guys, I'm uh, sorry about that outburst earlier. I'm fucking tired of this already. I think we all are. It's almost like the uh, Bureau is trying to... Uh... I don't know. Get rid of us. Does no. else have nerve damage? No, I think that was from when you took the electric shock. Oh, hi. But no, I uh, feel mathematically improbable today. I don't know. Just lately, I've been feeling more of a gangster these days, and I was kind of avoiding that route in my life. I'm just feeling more fucking stressed. Anyway, let's get into the fucking building. Yeah, have you been doing any more of your drawings, or, uh... Have you been avoid doing that since the Fishman incident? Can we try to sneak up? Sure. Um, and he pulls out, like, just drawings, but, like... It's got that very Cthulhu-esque thing where it's just fucking, um... Circles, and it's, like, very, like... It's the real art. It's kind of losing its luster at the moment. I just mm -hmm. want to see green. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me just, uh, let me just style on Jeebus real quick here. I was joking. I quit. <laughs> I quit Cthulhu. <laughs> Dude, I am... Jeebus, we're trading roles hard. What the fuck? You're taking all the bad, I'm taking all the good, holy shit. I always shit. take all the bad, what do you mean? I've always rolled horribly. Just usually I pass something. <laughs> so are you guys approaching the cabin, or...? Yeah, I'm stealthing, I guess these two aren't. <laughs> Walking close to the cabin, you notice a uh, shriveled old woman sitting on the front porch. This is Grandma Matilda Beaker. She stares forward, rocking silently in the chair encased in twisted vines. She's wrapped in a thick blanket of animal fears. Go ahead and roll me a spot hidden. Alright, Jeebus, you can actually do one of my one. Stop saying words. <laughs> Stop saying words. Hold on, let me just uh, roll that. This is my literal best stat. <laughs> let me just uh, style on everyone again real quick. Stop! <laughs> I okay, Douglas. Uh, why am I the face of this fucking done. party now? I'm the pretty one. I'm the survivalist, though. Is the problem? <laughs> you notice the shotgun poking out from under the woman's fur blanket, but she doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, th uh we mean no harm. And Douglas kind of motions to the other two and then points at the shotgun. We are just. Uh Jackass drove us off the road. We're just looking for a warm place to stay. If you don't mind. Look, it's not my fault that a treat suddenly popped up and hit me, okay? I think this is... Can I be able to roll, like, fast talk for that or persuasion? 
I got fast talk as well. That's why we're doing it. I was trying to be charming. <laughs> I'll tr I guess you could like butter her up with your fucking corpse. You know, you guys getting close to her? Yeah. 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 All she does really is hocks up a big plug of mucus from the back of her throat and spits it at your face. Which one of us? Does it just hit me? Whoever's closest. Probably, probably the one speaking. That was me. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well, you don't you don't have to actually spit in Jeebus's face because he's uh, really bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's thick. Yeah. Oh. Alright, uh, that's rude. It's it. Is there any place to stay where we can get some more fam or a vehicle? Do Lassen speak English? Ugh. Do I have Spanish? You, from what you can tell, this woman is gone. Ah. And I must take a bio break, so let's take a five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd like to point out, by the way, guy, in this specific game so far, I have four checks already. Uh, what guess how many I have? One. No! I have the <laughs> one, which was the drive. <laughs> I have the shit all night! I'm sorry, Jeeves. I, I'm, this, pa I'm like, I'm past the point of frustrated and just wondering how much of a mathematical fucking anomaly I am. Oh my God. You should never play Gotcha, Jeebus. I feel like you'd lose way too much. Why do you or think I stopped gambling. playing ZZZ? <laughs> Somebody cursed you, man. <laughs> I liked like... the game too, but I couldn't do anything that revolves around luck. And then I was like, I was like, oh shit! I should probably like hop on and get Bernice or King. And then realized I, I, like, again, like when I started the game, the ones I wanted ended two days ago. <laughs> I think I sent Google another text. I was like, should I get the pink-haired bitch? Yeah, you, yeah, you asked me for Yanagi. I'm like, eh, I'd rather for Miyabi to be honest. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was sent to the wrong person, Miser. Sorry. Ignore that. Um. I delete. Oh. Don't yeah, worry about it. it. I'll uh, probably just, like, wait until the next set, because neither of those two are super intriguing for me. Not a fan of Yabi. Eh. Fair enough. I mean, I never play. I never played the beta or her before. I mean, yeah, she looks fun, but I don't know. Not really kind of my thing. No, no, I got you, I got you. You're not a fan of cat girls, I understand. Who the heck is this one here that says, let her, let her talk to, for goodness sake, let her talk for goodness sake. Who the fuck is this last one? Don't worry about it. I deleted it. They're uh, characters from a gotcha game. Oh. It's a uh, part of the story. Don't worry about it. All right, so, Jeebus, what other good stats do you have? I have, uh, no, I, I literally told you the three that I have that are 50 and up. Uh, okay. So uh, wanna... I have I my brawl is forty five, which isn't bad. My charm is fifty five. My climb is thirty. Uh, my first aid is thirty. My jump is forty. I can use a goddamn library. I'm at fifty there. You you wanna you wanna I feel can hurt? Swim. You wanna feel hurt real fast, Jeebus? What? So my first aid's at fifty nine. My listens at 55, my natural world is at 50, my persuades at 60, my psychology is at 50, my spot hidden's at 50. Ah, uh, would you like to hear the ones that I have 50 and up? One, or the three? I have charm, I have <laughs> use library, swim, and spot hidden. And how many of those come up so far? Oh, and zoology. I was gonna say, <laughs> I thought you had... Gonna... I feel like botany could work in this specific instance, to be honest. Especially if they're like using gin and like different flowers. Man. You know? Yeah, it, it'll probably it might come up if you know we don't just end up getting shotgun to the chest by grandma here. 
I'm just waiting for the what moment we get to use law because I have 55 in law, but I have not yet used it. You are the law, that's why. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing that I had a 15 in intimidation and a fucking 20 in stealth, and I rolled both of them to success. You go one word, you go one extreme to the other mariner on the D hundred. Dude, I'm calling my shots like I'm fucking Babe Ruth out here. And I'm also calling other shots, but in the opposite direction. <laughs> Alright, are you guys gonna enter the house or what do you wanna do? Uh, uh she's just looking at us, right? Like you said she's gone, but after she spits yeah. on Okay. Uh yeah. I'll just fuck it, why not? Knock on the door? The door just kind of creaks open. Okay, right, well, I'm pissed at Grandma, so I'm gonna walk in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we'll walk in too. I'll just uh, put my hands in my leather coat pocket, but in that same pocket, I'll just quietly and ready my uh, firearm just in case things get bad, and I keep an eye on Grandma. Please, please tell me that. Because of what happened last time, there's actually like patches all over Mikhail's coat, like that. There's yeah. like patchwork. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Mikhail's coat. No, I thought you were talking about mine. Mine just okay. singed at the right bottom. Here. Okay. Uh, character. God fucking damn, we're so right. fucking huge. <laughs> okay, I I now see. What you meant by his hair is already like wavy and standing up, Jeebus. Yeah, <laughs> he seems like a he seems like a palm kind of man. Whatever the fuck it's called, pomade. Oh, absolutely. The house's interior is just nasty. Ugh. You know, it, it it was a rickety shack before, but if anything made it homey or anything like that, is just. Yeah. Even like you can see the dirt tracks going through as you, you know, room to room. Why do I feel like everything in here is sticky? Why do I feel like we're about to walk into one of them, uh, uh, cheap movie silent horror stuff that, uh, well, oh well. Why do I feel like we're gonna run into like a, another chaotic moose? So as you, uh, yeah. furniture in here is damp to the touch. A trail of thick mud leads haphazardly through the cabin, and both dry and fresh, and hitting people have carelessly been trampling mud through them for some days. Anybody wants to make me a track roll? I'll do. Well, let's see what I can try. Find it. Yep. Kind of figured. You know what? For shits and giggles. Wait, is it anybody or all of us? Isn't anybody. Oh. Well, those two already rolled, then I won't roll. Unless I still can. Wait, can I? Or? You can. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I believe in you. You know what? I have a 10. I'm going to roll an 8. Thank God. <laughs> I, I think I would have I I I... left. I would have left the game if I actually did. I would have left immediately. I'm like, oh, okay. That's you would have left. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Deepest, I would have. You would have wanted you to would. leave. <laughs> no, I meant by the fact that you guys would just kick. One of you would kick me from the voice chat. Nah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> But, uh, no, we need you, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miguel, with the uh, quietly just taking out the handgun points. So we go here, 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 or there. Or I do say we... we do the opposite of we did last time, and stick to fucking together. And uh, from under do. his trench coat, there's just this like stubby shotgun that he's sawed off into a pistol grip. <laughs> Oh no, I fully agree. Considering we saw the um, the you call them a moose, right? They look like those moose. were technically moose. Those might be the elite, the rare meeses. I would actually probably agree. Those were meese. Right, and um, Granny uh, 
Granny Vines over there. Yeah, I I would be very cross if we all had to go our separate ways here. Maybe yeah, after when we fun. survive this crap. No, we, we still technically have a card game. Isn't that yeah. a desk there? I'm about to Looks check like it, desk. actually. Probably check it out first. Yeah. Gonna investigate that. Uh, I guess it'll be spot hidden. Is that spot hidden? Yeah, go ahead. It's green! Yes! <laughs> oh, wait. The desk is a wet and molding guest journal. Its pages stacked together. Whatever was once within is now illegible. Aside from an inkwell that has a couple old fountain pens, nothing important here. Oh, Two drawers hold only a damp note paper and molding old maps of Anchorage. Why do they have maps of Anchorage? Burn in Alaska. There's also about three half burned candles standing inside glass jars that dot the room. You there know, are other cities than Anchorage in Alaska. Well, you it's know, the only port city that usually most product come to and from. I'm gonna take a Especially. wild guess, guys, but doesn't it somewhat feel awkwardly similar to the first case we all met on? Oh, I hope it's fucking not. Are we gonna find coins and then we're gonna have to throw them at fish people again? I I'd think... much rather that than whatever we're probably gonna run into. Yeah, but it's just like I got this bad feeling with the moldy dampness here. We're gonna at least deal with the fish people. Well, at least finally I can dissect something. Alright. I'm... Let's ch check the rooms one by one then. Miguel will... Hmm? I was just gonna say, who's going first? Uh, I'll be back up as usual. I guess it'll be up to me then. I'm gonna just uh, stealthily open up this door. Here we go. Watch me fuck up the stealth. Holy shit, I was really close that's to a, That's a solid fuck up. Yeah, at least it wasn't a fumble. Oh, fuck. Miguel opens his door. Forgets that we're in stealth. Just, hello? guest room mm. well wait whose room is whose uh oh Oof. <laughs> never Actually. mind yeah that's a guest room oh is it clean <laughs> no it's covered in dust I'll be more specific. Are we expecting any fungi or weird uh, plants and mold coming out of here? I'll just poke my head in just a little bit more. Yeah, it's, the place is nasty. Nothing's been done. Fireplace is a mess, even. I'll go over to the other two. Look, let's try to get this done as fast as possible. I don't want to stay in that here one minute. We're also going to have to need to find a vehicle out. As, uh, Douglas opens the door this way. Nope. Why are we not going in a circle? Yeah, I was kind of wondering why I'm going to leads out here it's fine i'm just opening it for our sake and this is the hallway right that i see where yeah uh i just opened the door right here yeah yeah it's just the hallway okay good just so um there's not a set trap roll is there because what i want to kind of do is like leave the door slightly ajar so if something bumps into it, I could at least hear it. 
Okay. What would that be? To roll. I'm just gonna let you do it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Look, I was doing a little uh, neat trick I learned is with this door slightly jar, if something hopefully bumps into it, since it's already open, it might alert us so we're not gonna get snuck up on it. Oh. Hopefully. Like the situation with the hands and the viscera. Well, that was in the ceiling, and that's a whole fucking other issue. If there's something in the ceiling here, I'm gonna actually vomit. Miguel actually looks up to the ceiling. <laughs> what you do see is a small figure looking through the door at you now that you've moved away from it. Uh. Wait, where? Oh. I. I did, I'm the only one that noticed, right? Or does everyone? Yeah. She's not being very stealthy at the moment. Guys, there's something right there. Points that way. Is it rushing at us? No, it looks human-ish. Well. Where the fuck is the pictures? <laughs> I, uh, Miguel's going to, you know, hide the shotgun in his coat. little girl hi and who are you she skitters away <sighs> question I, like, notice anything about her yeah well her unnaturally weird glowing eyes oh, the fact gosh. that she's barefoot I'm just gonna post this and use her. Wait, she has bare feet? Damn. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay! You know, she does look like someone that would have bare feet. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get some uh, horror vibes now. Oh shit, we're fighting the White Walkers, actually. You would know this is the daughter of the family. Shouldn't we be worried that her eyes were, you know? I didn't see anything. In pure denial. <laughs> for as long as we work for the organization, I wish you could at least be straight with me for once. I'm trying to keep whatever sanity I got left, my friend. That's why I use opium. I don't do drugs. That being said, we'll deal with her when the time comes, or at least see what we can do for her. I'm just gonna very carefully open up the door here. And just look in stealthily. I'm gonna try and do another stealth. I know I'm horrible at it, but I have to try. Oh shit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, guys, we're not very stealthy, so stop trying. I'm That's... actually kind of stealthy. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep trying because I'm scared of my wits here. It's kind of like the You're scary movie situation. Yeah, I'm opening the door. Uh, you see a guest room, um, four separate beds, like hostel, and some stuff on one of them. I look at the one that has the stuff on it. Oh, with the two lids. This one is not as well, like, set up as the others. Four double bunk beds and an unmade fireplace and drawers for guest belongings. There are five unlit oil lanterns to the top of the fireplace. Each has enough fuel for around two hours of light. A pile of backpacks, suitcases, clothes, and climbing gears on one of the beds. Uh, give me a spot hidden. Okay. I'm going to burn four luck to uh, push it. No, no, no. I mean, burn four luck to make it into a success. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say. 
find several wallets containing U.S. and Canadian identification, along with family photos. Um, you think that some of these might match what are reports of missing people that have been the guests here. <laughs> Miguel passes these to Douglas and Emil while saying, Okay. Identifications, wallets, uh, I think I saw some of these faces on the missing people reports. Yeah, looks like it. Are we sure that the organization isn't trying to get rid of us? To be honest, we're just a liability. They could send more people if they really wanted to, but we've done... This is done... a statement. It is dark as hell in here. I'm getting darker. <sighs> Do we have any lanterns or anything to light up? Wait, what happened here? It's getting dark as shit in here. I have lanterns stacked oh. up there that have fuel. Well, Miguel will I... quickly walk over, grab uh, three of them. Passes one to uh, Douglas and one to Emil. Right. I really don't want to stay here after dark, but I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. The only way to solve an investigation is get knee deep in the shit, right? I'm not a sewer man, okay? And I don't think there's any real sewer maintenance here. That, that was a joke. Yes, okay. I know. I was adding to the joke. Oh. Okay. Yes, my humor is as dry as the Howard Desert. Oh, so you are from Egypt. I did business there. Do you have an alias? Yes. Are you ever going to tell us? None of this is absolutely necessary. I can't wait till we run into some of your clientele then, which I'm surprised we haven't at this point. I think after the, uh, my last contact, which, uh, he ended up getting himself killed, of course, what led us all to meeting each other. I'm 90% sure he worked for the organization and just was having you basically get in without getting in. I am not going to even make a wild guess about that, but, uh, yeah. I just wanted to study fucking fish. Did you at least study some good fish? Before I met you three, yes. Who was the third? What? You said before you met you three. I know. <laughs> that's, that's why Miguel said who was the third. That, which is why it's then within the what? <laughs> All right. Oh, there are three. Yeah. Are, are you tripping out again? I'm in Alaska, and there was a moose with three fucking heads. I hope so. There was also a moose that was lactating yellow milk. Let's not talk <laughs> about that one. <laughs> hey, some people are into that. Uh. Anyway. I'll... What'd you find on the bed? <laughs> lanterns. Lanterns, wallets, IDs, identifications, people. Oh, here's some um, portraits, photos. Stuff for uh, people that were clearly m on the missing reports and list. Oh, God. So we're in a good space. He looks at a shotgun. I can't even rack this. <laughs> And that's why Miguel holds the uh, the handgun ready and pull again to open this door here. All right, before it gets too dark, I kind of want to see where everything is at and try to find a defensible place, maybe. Which I highly doubt it, but I'll set right in. Well, Grandma seems to at least be willing to not let us leave. 
my head pokes back out for a second. You do. You did sell those vines, right? Yeah. I'm not a botanist, so I didn't know what the fuck those were. Me neither, but I can pretty much can guess um, what the fuck is in this room. Yeah, what the fuck is in this room? <laughs> uh, if you open this one... I just feel like that's what Miguel says as he's opening up this room. <laughs> Talking to the others. Wow, this is just not set up right. Oof. The floor has a layer of squashed fruit, trash, and smashed wooden crates. Sacks of rotten and oversized apples, plums, and cherries dot the perimeter. The stench is unbearable. An enormous dining table dominates the room, although what few chairs remain are broken. Wait. I'm not super big on fruits and plants, but... Oh, I am. Oh. One... Dude... I thought this kind of stuff, and like the crab apples from the tree, don't grow during the winter. Why do you think it's fucking summer right now here, specifically? No, it's uh, technically the winter because it's Christmas. Like that's what we were oh, told. Oh no 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 yeah no in this specific area right now we were told it was unseasonably warm. Ah okay. Oh, I heard the whole weird rumor of the whole climate thing, but. I don't think that we've already reached the point of weather control yet. It's the 20s. I don't think we heard a fucking climate control visor. No, I was referring... <laughs> they I was, think I was, we're smoking to make it better. Yeah, no. I was referring to, like, some of those old silent movies where they had the weather control machine. Or some of those spy oh, movies. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Mogul, can I, like, roll botany to see if these... Like, any of this would be in season, even though it's already, you know, overripe. It is definitely out of season. Um, mutated, because crab apples don't get that big. Uh, neither do cherries. They seem to have I, almost, like, cancerous growths on them. You know, like that cherry like, looks like a raspberry. Um, shit ain't normal here. I feel like that's kind of a running theme. Alright, let's uh, go see if the little girl's still around. I think I saw a door in the far off over there, so... Let's just uh, close this one, because I don't want to smell fucking rancid. Me neither. Room are you opening first? Uh, I mean, well, f I mean, the first thing we're gonna see is there or is any of the four doors like opened? Nope. All right. Well, Miguel is Miguel. He's gonna open the closest thing to him. <laughs> Miguel and Emil, we both got such similar naming sense. <laughs> did I say Miguel? Yes, you did. Oops, <laughs> Emil is Emil. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that really stands out about this one is three deadbolt locks have been recently installed on the corridor side of this wooden door. In addition, there is a baseball-sized round hole in the center. Oh. Okay, well, I would like to look through the hole first. Through the narrow viewpoint reveals a double bed, an overturned dresser, a smashed and fallen mirror inside someone's torn the room apart. There is also a hideous stench emanating from within. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a, there's a bat. Er, Go ahead, and roll. Er, I don't know what you guys would roll for that one. I guess knowledge. Okay, okay all right. Let's uh, let's all grab right. my sheet and start screaming things at you. That I'm good at. Uh... <laughs> well, all the shit I'm good at is dealing with animals. So, uh, is this a library? No. Ah, fuck. Am I trying to get you to roll? I think probably education or intelligence. Probably intelligence. Uh, 
get that smell of dead corpse. That's a dead body. Mm. Hey, um. Am I gonna roll? I see a lot of dead things. You, well, you smell it. Well, at my time as, you know, a, uh, in college, uh, I did have to go to the body farm, and that's, that's that smell. Okay. I don't think we go in there. No, I don't, I don't want know. to be in there. Okay, someone else is time to look at the door. I'll walk past a little bit further down, making sure we got at least all of our um, perimeter check. I'm gonna open up this door here. This or, one in here? Yeah, or at least check the door. Is it openable? Yes, it is. Alright, I'm going to very quietly open up this door, even though I suck at stealth, because we at least know there's a little girl here, and I don't want to provoke Grandma with a shotgun. Well, I just... Open the door and there's just a loud noise creaking of it. This is a child's room. Much tidier than other bedrooms you've seen. Uh, this is clearly a child's room and a well, as well as a single bed and wardrobe, a small table and chair occupies the area. The fireplace shows re the signs of recent use. Miguel just says, Hello? You hear scrabbling under the bed. Miguel is going to choose to not have heard that. And it just says, Right. Nobody here. As I very carefully close the door. Okay. And uh, I'll just tell to Emil and Douglas, I believe the little girl's inside the uh, room there, but I'm not going to disturb her. I don't really have uh, good children skills. Uh, I'm not that great with kids either. Sadly, okay. Mikkel seems to be spacing out at the moment, so... I mean, he did took a big whiff of that uh, corpse in the other room, so... I suspect uh, he's trying to get that smell out of his uh, memories and synapses. Give him a minute. Mm hmm. Do you have smelling salts on you, uh, Douglas? No, just the smoke. Alright, I thought we could probably use something like that or some sort of salty substance to snap a meal out of his current mindset. I just, I just see Douglas is like the most nervous guy just sitting there constantly like shaking. <laughs> yeah, but then when push comes to shove, he's the guy that goes first in and starts beating the shit <laughs> out of everything. <laughs> he, start, he starts to breathe excitedly with the shovel. It's like the, it's like the cat heavy breathing anytime there's combat. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> We'll just wait for uh, to check any other doors or uh, uh, just I, waiting I, for we're just waiting for Jeebus just because uh, okay yeah because he has the best charm and it makes sense that since you talked to the girl already yeah I think yeah you know, uh, Jeebus mentioned he had 55 charms so better off he takes care of that while We'll probably poke at the other room once he gets back. Oh my god. Guys, what are we doing? Surviving. I'm gonna be like a god at this point with how well I'm rolling my stuff. I do have a question. Is there a way to increase our constitution, strength, and other stuff, or...? Not really. Uh, the fact is, you ain't you bite some of it goes away, it gets better. Uh... 
yeah, they, they do the uh, the aging thing where it's like sometimes you're stronger, sometimes you're weaker, sometimes you're smarter, sometimes you're not. Hmm, makes sense. Especially if you get hit with something. Go ahead, sorry. I was saying, especially if you get hit with something like dementia. I zoned out where the fuck what happened. Okay, so. Child. Yeah, so uh, Miguel will tell both of you while closing the door, saying out loud, right, seems like no one's in here. Closes the door, looks to you both. I believe the little girl is under the bed in there. I have absolutely no skills talking to children, so I will leave that to one of you who is more professional in that. Looks at Miguel, or Emil, sorry. I can try. I believe of the three of us, you have the more presentable face of kindness and socialism. Sure. Uh, where is she? Bed. Under the bed. Alright, uh, I will just kind of open the door and walk in. Are there, like, does she have any toys or anything? No, just a lot of paper and crayons and colored pencils. Oh, damn, this would actually oh. would have been better for me. <laughs> Fuck! I mean, you could go in there, too. Uh, well, well... Uh, I, I walk in and uh, immediately spot that and go, Oh, it looks like there's an artist in here. Hey, Doug. Uh, mm? the oh, I think she might be better than you. <laughs> and he'll pick one up and look at it. Uh, it's one of the ones you do pick up. It is of a family very kids like you know stick figures you can imagine who it's supposed to be you know mommy daddy grandma little girl what a beautiful family while the other two are going in there i'm going to keep an eye on this door and down the hallway okie dokie Roll me a listen check, Miguel. Da, 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 da. Where's my listen check? Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh. You hear the sounds of boots coming up from a set of stairs, going through the dining room and out. Looks over to, uh, leans a little bit close to Douglas before he goes in. I hear heavy boots upstairs. Coming down, maybe. Be well, no, it's way. on the same level as you. They come from stairs. They come down. from below. Oh. Yeah. This, this uh, is a one-story house. Okay, you know, I, I forgot that. Uh, I'm hearing some heavy boots downstairs. Be careful. Or be on alert. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm still going to hold my position, but I'll have the uh, handgun ready in case something hostile comes towards me. I will, I will hand the picture of the family over and kind of start looking through. I'm looking for, like, uh, kids will always out their parents. So if there's, like, anything, like, I would find creepy, but a, a young girl would just draw because she's seen it before. Or what would feel normal to her and definitely not normal to me before a couple months ago. Okay. Just a moment here. Let me see which one of these is which. Uh, this one stands out. I'm just throwing them in Discord because I don't want to. Mm. Uh, this one just seems kind of weird. Same with this one. That is where I we... wish I could have flat wings so I could fly away from a place. Oh. Don't you, Douglas? Yeah, I really do. You know, we've been to some scary places, but we've always made it out. 
And I'm sure, and I know we've helped a couple people get out of scary places, haven't we? Oh, 100%, and they seem to be living better lives for it and escaping. She kind of crawls out from under the bed and kind of looks at the two of you. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. Just kind of stares at you quietly. He'll get down on one knee and show her the picture of her, what looks like her flying away. She nods. You know, we can help. We've helped other people before. We can help you. She quickly takes a piece of paper and a crayon and scribbles out another one for you guys. Sad people go into the barn. She nods. And then those sad people go into the river after the barn. She nods again. And then more sad people show up from the river. She nods third time. You had heard that this that a lot of travelers up from the river would stay here for the night. Mm. They, they come for the fishing, get captured, go to the barn, then get uh, dumped. Yeah. Any... Well, don't worry, sweetie. You just stay in your room. There's going to be some loud noises, but don't worry about it. We'll come back. We'll, get, we'll take you and we'll, you know, get you into a very safe place. So you stay okay. safe for now, right? She just nods. You know how to do that? She nods some more. Good. Well, and after this, Douglas can show you his vibe, and he's really good at drawing. I'm just thinking back of all the things that he's drawn recently. Probably is not good for a child. <laughs> he looks at you, earlier work. <laughs> I, could, I could make something special for you too so yeah his recent expressionistic work <laughs> got the realism <laughs> shit Miguel. counting his blue period right now actually <laughs> Miguel with his back to the wall as he's listening in just kind of looks over to the other two all right is everything alright in there guys oh, yeah. Yeah, just one more second and Miguel digs into his coat pocket and takes out a super shiny scale. It's from uh, a deep sea fish. Now oh, here, you can hold on to this. It's real pretty, isn't it? She nods as she holds out her hands. And he will hold it out to her, but he's gonna like have her try to take it from him. She will. She hesitates, but she she will. Yeah. Now that's from my favorite fish, so you keep that safe, okay? She nods. And he'll stand up. Look at the look at the two of you. I just kind of nod his head, like we're we're good here. Time to time to go. All right. Miguel's going to quietly open up this door here to check what's inside. That's Granny's room. It smells like mothballs. It smells like roses. What's the condition of the room? Oh, uh, just a moment. In fact, you know, I'm going to do a spot hidden just in case there's any uh, hidden uh, contraptions or weird plants that might be wanting to... Grab me up. The bed and furniture shows were signs of recent use, with the bed sheets disturbed and various garments strewn on the floor and across the dresser. The fireplace has remains of a fire, but dust clings to the blackened wood, indicating it occurred some days ago. There is a candlestick near the bed, along with a box of matches. 
you know what? I'm going to take that box of matches. I get this it's, feeling we're going to need it. It's d getting dark out, right? At mm -hmm. this point? Okay. Uh, okay, so it was box of matches, and what was the other thing, too? Uh, candle. Alright. Well, we gotta be careful with going out tonight. Alright, I'll just take the box of matches for now. Well. Alright. I did hear something downstairs, so... Heavy boots. Well, it came up from... This area went through this area and then out this area oh I want to check if we want to head out to the barn I definitely want to check the barn I kind of yeah, I kind of want to secure the area at least the basement I, if whatever came upstairs I don't think it's gonna be secure we're kind of just right now free roaming so well, I'm uh, as I close the door I kind of pull you uh I just tap Miguel on the shoulder. There are three people. There's a mother, a father, and grandma. I don't want to make any bets that the mother points in the direction of this particular room and is no longer there. Probably not. Right. Then we also got a very angry grandma, and I suspect if what you just said, Emil... The heavy footsteps I just heard was from Dad. Could be from both. Let's check out the barn and go from there. All right, I'll we'll make sure to get rid of Granny on the way. I'm just gonna very slowly walk to the door, but I'm going to poke my head out a little bit, I guess, like just to sneak in and look. Uh, I'm gonna have to roll another stealth. Holy shit, I'm horrible at this. What are you looking at? Uh, I'm trying to see if Granny might be, uh, or whoever exited out is coming back in. And, um, if perhaps, uh, because when it looks of it, if Granny can actually get up and leave from her spot, I don't want her suddenly standing at the door with a shotgun ready. No. There's nothing moved, or you don't see anything. It's the door shut. You have a feeling that someone came from the basement and just left outside. Probably doesn't have any idea you're here yet. Miguel looks at the other two. So, should we try to take them uh, by surprise, or perhaps hit the basement to see what's down there? <sighs> surprise might be better, especially if they're out, heading out towards the barn. Emil? Granny ain't moving. I say we sneak into the basement first, see what's down there. Then, because Granny's probably going in the second we leave the house, Granny's going to make some gold crazy lady noise and alert them that uh, we've left the home. Or, you know, shoot her knees out, one of the two. All right. Door it is then, basement. If I tell by his uh, tonal shift, uh, Miguel really is not uh, happy about the situation. <laughs> we got two Miguelers. <laughs> Fuck, Emil. <laughs> no worries, buddy. <laughs> we, uh, dude, we're gonna be doing that all night. Yeah. All right. So uh, Miguel goes like, "All right, I'm gonna open up this door then. See what we're getting ourselves into, or what we got ourselves into." I think they're making fish people into moonshine. Or gin, what do you think? More than likely. Oh, oh fuck. Come on. I want to be, I wanted to, you know, have a bet. I'm going to go with as I don't want to bet on people's before, knives at this point because we've seen so much fucking shit. Before uh, Miguel opens the door as he hears what uh, Emil is saying, Miguel's looking around and says, considering we got these weird plants, I wouldn't be surprised if they're turning the travelers into fertilizer to some degree. Oh, that's better. So you guys See? are opening the door to the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Or I describe. Well, I guess Miguel opened the door. Yeah, I opened it and Emil so went we in. Should, I, should we go back into the hallway? No, not yet. 
Oh, okay. if, you're, if you're entering, yeah. you'll you'll see this. Oh, a shit. leaky tap drips into a mess of broken dishes and rotting oversized fruit. All of the cabinet doors lie shattered and broken. Anything edible is long gone, with only spoiled food remaining. Insects and maggots never seen in Alaska in December crawl about and infest the spoiled fruit, feeding greedily. Sticky residue coats the cupboards and countertops, as well as a small table at the center of the room. There are also dozens of crayon drawings stuck to the walls. Ah. These show various scenes of farm life and the family before the thing. Whatever. Uh, Whatever would, zo would zoology work for bugs, or is there like an etymology skill? Technically, it is, but go ahead and just do like a education run. I'm educated as fuck. I'll throw in mine. I only as won by well. three. At least you won. Yeah, these bugs ain't supposed to be up here. These are these are but lower where's forty. Where's education? Uh, it's skills. At the top. Not only are these oh, I don't bugs, have it. Oh, you absolutely have it. At the very top of the green portion. Yeah, I found it. Found it. <laughs> Aren't we educated people? Not only <laughs> are these bugs not native to Alaska. They're not native to this climate. How the fuck did they get here? I'm going to assume that the fruits have some kind of nature that creates warmth or heat, but I don't fucking know plants. I, I know plants. Them. Well, then just fucking look at them. So I, I have told a question. You. Do I have a different result? It's fucked. <laughs> Do, uh. Um, Is that your professional opinion? Does yes! Doug does Douglas and Miguel get something different because they have extreme and hard success? Yeah, you both know these bugs ain't supposed to be here. This fruit ain't right. <laughs> and this place sucks. <laughs> okay. Good. The thing we're literally arguing about. <laughs> so all of the shit that took me three successful rolls to get, they get in one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to think, we've also had your And The worst part is, the worst part is, every time I've succeeded, it's been one of the ones I can't mark. <laughs> I'm going to take a wild <laughs> guess that the fruits, insects, and whatever is driving this family into insanity, it's something with fertilizer. All right. I'll take lead. I think... Oh, good. <laughs> as he takes two, two steps back, like, as he was going to take lead. I get the gun ready, and I start going down the stairs. Uh-oh. Find yourselves here. Okay. Have I sent a picture of the dice spinner I bought? I don't know if you did or not. Oh, I'll take I'll take another one. It's got a D20, a D10, and a D6 on one side, and a D12, a D8, and a D4 on the other side. Well, that's neat. Yeah. It was super cool, and I got a gift card for, like, my birthday. Nice. I finally used my Amazon gift card. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Since you have your lanterns on, you go into this basement and see four cells, bar doors, and in this room you see a dead guy. How does a dead guy look? Or anything? Pretty skeletal. Ah. Oh, he's super dead. I was about to say, was there any significant clothing or markings on this guy that would identify him as probably maybe one of our fellow agents? No, he, any, any clothes that were there looked like they were from uh, travelers. I see. I think people were left here to be uh, maybe cannibalized on. There's no, there's no edible food around. It looks yeah. like a pipe blade, kind of. Uh, it's... I mm. mean, it doesn't spin by itself. The, the dragon stays still. Oh, okay. Only that centerpiece spins. It looks nice. I like it. It's it's heft. It's super hefty. It's a nice fidget. And also, like, when I'm sitting here playing video games by myself, I'll just roll. i just spin it. it. It'll go for, like, a solid, like, six minutes if I spin it good enough. <laughs> I almost. Uh, those. I, I it's always been on my list. I wanted the bullet dice that come in like their own little like yeah. uh 
six canister. But uh, I didn't want to pay that price tag. They have a There's new a one, new bomb dice. I just saw that too. I was like, that one I really want. Uh, I Emil kind of just jiggles the door to see if it is unlocked or not. You check in the doors? Yeah. They're locked. Okay. I mean, if you really wanted to get into one, you could climb over it somehow. But how you get out might be a different question. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I don't want to do. And I only have a one in locksmith, so I'm good. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't have any skills on that shit either, so. Uh, well... How do we shut up, Grandma? <sighs> I was thinking we take a pot shot at her at the entrance before she turns around. Well, that's the thing. I don't want to alert them. Anybody good at the anybody good at the old grab and twist? I can hit her with the shovel. <laughs> <laughs> I did just you buddy. That shovel is solid steel. It makes noise. Ah. Trust me, bend on the receiving end. It does. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a quick ah. listen to see if we're here if I hear anything upstairs. Anything upstairs. Okay. We're still good to go, so. I mean, I'm decent with my hands, but are you better? Wait. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really just have... depends on what our don't hands you your... are. Don't you have your scalpel? Do. That's probably our best bet, because it's the quietest thing. You just gotta go and slit her throat. Ah. <sighs> yes, I'll give it a shot. I can just hear the apprehension in Jeebus's voice. That's that's the apprehension in Emil. Emil's the one who hasn't fucking succeeded on anything. Yeah. <sighs> if it gets that bad, uh, just Miguel looks Miguel, around. You back me up with your quiet shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Miguel begins looking around to see if he can get either a pipe or a. Uh, something to cludgeon the woman to death if he needs to. You can pick up a fire poker from one of the fireplaces. Oh, perfect. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so one of us is going to slit Grandma's throat, and if she lives, then we got the fire poker in her ass. Uh, uh yeah, uh, what I remember where Grandma was sitting, right? She was right, right here, here, I think, yeah. right where that chair, yeah. I'm just going to ask, uh, do I need what? to change anything what? with the fire poker? Is there anything on the table? I don't worry about it. Okay. Is there anything on what? There, like, it, it, there looks like a thing on the table. Candle. Candle? Perfect. Alright, uh, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the candle, and, like, as soon as I open the door, I'm gonna throw the candle, like, out in front of her, so hopefully she gets distracted by it. Come on, Grandma. Run up and try to split her fucking throat. I'll be right behind him to skewer her, uh, skull. Okay. <laughs> I'm just Do watching. It. You got the shovel, okay. man. You're, you're, you're oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're our last hope. If I hit her with it, it'll alert people. Oh my god, finally! <laughs> I guess I'll come... Curled facts damage for a scalpel. Oh shit, I hit. You hit the brawl. Uh, brawl. Bra they're both brawl. Yeah. And, well, then, yeah. Well, you just gotta change the damage. I'll. No, add, the damage uh, is the same. You slit Granny's throat. <gasps> she didn't even see it coming. <sighs> Alright. All right. I did I'm, it. I'm going to uh, take the shotgun from her. Okay. Talks with religious intent. Uh, you just, you just tell me what the shotgun does, I'll probably just... 
Two D six plus two with the ten range. Uh, shit. Hold on. Let me look for that. Let me just uh, edit. <laughs> Granny shotgun. Hey, look, dude. It's another thing you could check off. Uh, <laughs> I can add brawls to my two things I've succeeded on. What was it again? Two D what? Two D six plus two. Two D six plus two range. Ten. Ten. All right. Oh, I gotta put a range for the pistol later. I'll figure that out later. All right. This credit rating never go up. You gotta get more money. <laughs> credit ratings of your lifestyle and like how much you're getting paid. Right, so oh, okay. Because you can't. Because you can't do check mark for mythos or uh, credit rating, so there you right. go. Okay, that makes sense. That was a, that, just, that was it, a test click. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we just gotta trudge over quietly to the fucking bars. Right. I guess I'll take point with Granny Shotgun. This is the inside of the barn. Okay. Oh my god. I Jeebus, see you're doing it again. It. Yes. Jeebus, you're doing it. Hold on. Now I'm gonna now watch. I'm gonna fumble. Well, I didn't fumble, but that's fine. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Because I'm an asshole. Uh how much luck do I have? Twenty six? Uh is there something what happens if you run out of luck? I actually forget. No. Just not okay. a good thing. Um, do I want to waste? There are, there are things that uh, rely on your luck just for being existing. Okay, then I I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. I won't push it then or anything. Or use my luck. You should have some dark. Some dark music. Been disconnected from watch together. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because I've been I've been playing this one here. Uh, the epic dark mysterious music. Uh, that's good. I did, apparently, I got disconnected at some point. Ah. Uh. <laughs> goodness I am worried so how are we all doing tired <laughs> doing all right yeah I can make it As a reminder, your jobs destroy the still and the aurora blue thought reserves. Never heard of I mean, the aurora blue. We're probably blue. just gonna end up setting the whole house on fire and leaving. Yeah, we're just gonna make sure we take the kid with us and figure out how to fucking repair that damn car so we can get the fuck out of here. You know, I have a bad feeling she might actually be the aurora blue. That's also. Oh, I've returned. Hello. We're just. Oh, they're over there. Yeah. Eh. Uh, have we tried to listen? Not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> Probably could. Hold on. Let me roll. Listen. Oh my god. Uh, I fail. What happened? To oh, my listen's over here. Oh, oh wow! This is gonna be funny. How do you fumble hearing? You fumble listening, and you probably like go in the door. We were we were probably chatting too much, and I wasn't paying attention. Why do I roll the one? The fuck up! Huh? I'm trying to lift. Oh my god! 
Wait, what happens when someone fumbles and someone crit fails? Crit right. success. Miguel, like, just can't hear shit. It's one of those weird moments where the ring in your ear like, gets super loud for some reason. Ah, the tonight is because we don't know what ear protection is yet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he shot his gun too many times. All those extreme successes have now finally come back to haunt me. <laughs> On the other hand, Douglas, you uh, you hear everything. I hear the bugs fucking in the walls. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Is there anything of importance, though, that I hear? Well. Wow. Uh, walking through the yard behind you, you hear somebody... Immediately turns with gun out. All right, and you see, uh, yeah, get to it. They really did not set this one up that well, mm. it, like the other two. Well, you've been doing a good the job of uh, fixing it because teams. <laughs> I've been having as much fun as the last two. Yeah, you see this ugly yeah. bastard. Oh. Huh. Where? Uh, In the Discord. Discord. Yeah. Discord. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Why is his head mushy? So you immediately just watch this. The hulking figure who walks with a strange gait, his flesh is unnaturally swelled with strange tumor like lumps of muscle layered unevenly around his body. While his face consists of a horrifically fleshy growth that disfigure his features, his eyes shine with an otherworldly light of blue, green, teal, and purple. As he walks, one can hear the jangle of keys. Go no what? Instead of the gun, because does he notice us or like, is he right behind no, us? No, not really. There's not advantage for like getting the drop on someone, is there? You can aim. Uh, uh, how, what does that give me? Plus forty to firearms. Ooh. I don't want to. I don't want to shoot though. Is the problem because if I shoot, then it's gonna alert the other one. What other one? Oh, is there not? Yeah. The oh, mo- I thought we said there was three people between. Okay, well, we definitely know there's there's a mom somewhere. Yeah. Okay. But then, we also but if you see dad. Dad's probably the problem. But uh, okay, then, the other yeah, thing I'll too. Aim the miguel pointed out is that the mom is likely in that room where there's a dead body that emil oh yeah at. there's a corpse uh, yeah okay so, then yeah i'll just fucking aim the gun and go pew pew uh, is there an aim button on can't you alert us so we can uh, aim we just add it to it okay and no um sorry if anybody uh, wants to uh, ready a pistol <laughs> I don't yeah know. douglas douglas points at both of them and then points at the guy as we like you hear the jangling keys okay and then just aims so we're just all gonna fucking lay into him yeah i'm going to aim my shotgun i'm gonna aim my pistol because i'm more confident with that than granny's uh shotgun i don't have any oh my god (laughs) that's another success for me so uh plus 40 oh my god i win all right here we go (laughs) <laughs> Fuck you all. I still won, though. Yeah. And, uh, and that did... counts that down to a 20. Yeah, Yeah, I know. That's why I say I still won, but both of them still so regular and succeeded. So that's 12 damage plus 2 damage for 14 plus 7, plus seven. puts that at 21. Anyway. I don't believe he has any damage reduction. I know, he's Uh-oh. bushy. He might. No, shut up. No, that's uh, two points over his total hit points. Oh, shit. Holy <laughs> shit. You guys fuck this guy hard. As for, like, as for usual, we fuck up to succeed. <laughs> I, I love this but guy. All, like, randomly why do I imagine like, after uh, that we all just do like that freeze frame of, yeah! <laughs> I just, I no, just feel it's, like... it, it's you two going yeah, and then just Miguel like I hit him. 
I just feel like us three were just standing there, lined up, a firing squad, we just shoot this guy. <laughs> and we're just watching for a brief moment, like, is he dead? Where the fuck was he? I killed his mom. Looks dead. Um, we should probably look in the here now. Wait. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, uh grab if he was, I, I, if grab he was outside, then who the fuck is inside? Do we hear anything yeah. inside? I don't know. No. Um, All right. Well, okay. I'll grab the key or a captive. I will grab the keys and open the uh, barn doors and move on. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> You're opening this barn doors. Yeah. Dude, that was that was fifty percent of my ammo, so I reload. <laughs> <laughs> I place one bullet in defense mode in my turn. <laughs> I place two. Okay, I, I get two. <laughs> this large barn holds Jacob's workshop, where he produces Aurora Blue. While it is the most ah. organized part of the property, it's still filthy with fruit pulp, smashed crates, and broken glass. A naturally large and weird-looking weeds choke the walls. It's spread across the ground. Uh, Two long right. tables stand in the center of the room, stacked with crates, bottles containing Aurora Blue. A large still bubbles way quietly, constantly at work. A table nearby boasts a butcher slab with rows of empty glass jars. And you see sacks and piles of rotten fruit everywhere. Uh, burn this place as well as an unlit wood stove for heating the barn. Ah, uh, look at me. I'm the Green Reaper. As I pick up the scythe. Please tell me you drop it. Roll me a spot hidden. Uh, uh okay. Yeah! Yeah! God damn, Jeebus. You finally turned it around right at the end. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm better. Fuck, oh, god damn you. <laughs> I rolled four, by the way, like six times tonight. I hate you. You uh, notice two things. Okay. You find the necessary tools and parts to repair the car. Perfect. Uh, by the door, you see a pile of par paper parcels tied with twine, obscured by a mass of sacks. The parcels contain bundles of paper money and handwritten notes sent by various customers for Aurora Blue. We should oh my god, did we finally get paid? Yeah, we're I, stealing it. Yeah, no, <laughs> this this blackmail material here, so... Uh, yeah, they're not going to miss this, right? If we just say it went with the fire? Hmm. God, why did I pick up the scythe? You also <laughs> noticed uh, two cans of gasoline and... Uh, I love these lantern hangs from a wall hook. Okay. They really okay. just want to set this place on fire. What the fuck? <laughs> well, we keep, well, make sure we keep one of those cans. I think we're running pretty low. All right. So uh, how about this then? Quick plan moment here, guys. I'll take the parts so, so I can start repairing the car. Uh, also, I'll take the parchment stuff. We can probably use that to blackmail some of these customers and whatnot. Emil... I guess you want to take the kid with you, so with us, so. Yeah, I'm not. I wanna. Yeah, I'm no. definitely gonna go get the kid. Yeah. You so want to start the fire. About that. Um, Can we drag Grandma and Dad into here before we start the fire? Yeah, I probably should. Right. Probably. It's gonna take a bit for me to repair the car, so I'm gonna go start working on that now. I'll lead the right. burning and saving to you guys. Watch Dougie. out for the mace. Dougie, you, uh, I'll go grab Dad. <laughs> he... uh, sure? I'm a little bit more better built. What's your strength? I'm at 45. I'm at 60. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck! Shit. I'm sorry. Is, uh, hold on. You're what an artist and you got that? that much strength? What's your yeah. canvas? Somebody's face? <laughs> so, 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 backstory-wise, technically, of the character sheet Moogle gave me, my character was actually, like, part-time artist, part-time hunter. Ah. Like, did oh. hunting. And, oh, he's, like, rich. Like, he's from a big Italian family where he was, like, raised in that kind of stuff. So I just never... Doing? <laughs> I'm grabbing father's body. He's like, uh -oh. no, 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 no. Like... <laughs> Miguel or... wants to go work on the car. Yeah, Miguel wants to work on the car, and I wanna. We wanna grab the bodies and move them in here before we start burning. Also, we'll probably take out the money as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the parchment. But, uh... Uh, I also took the the parcel of all the customer list names, so we can probably blackmail them in the future. What I imagine is, um, what I imagine is like you said, or Miguel's like, 
I'll go, or sorry, not Miguel. Emil's like, I'll go get the dad. And you watch as Douglas rolls up their sleeves and you just see, like, actually protruding muscles. It's like, no, I got it. <laughs> I'll start the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I go back inside because apparently I'm a weak bitch. <laughs> There's a list of customers. Did you guys not see when I rolled strength that it was 60 before? <laughs> no, I, I did not. Look at that. I just saw you win. I haven't lost really that much today, so yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, eat dicks. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a person who's definitely never done this before in real life, uh, how's this? Uh, how's the yield on this one so far? If it's if it's going, it's yielding. It's yielding fairly well. Great. I'm gonna take that yield and just start throwing that around first before I start using gas, because I know that's gonna burn better than gas. I also gave my that on, uh, the, on the on the like more structural points, especially like I put that on, like on the tables, and uh, at this, the places that would be probably most used for murder. In between, um, like moving the mother and the grandma, Mogul, can I try to sketch like a really nice drawing for the girl then too, like something a little bit more peaceful? Because I know it's been a no. while. As you're out in the area, okay. You see a strange glow through the darkness. Shafts oh, of phosphorescent no. light burst through the night sky, glowing and congealing together to form a cloud-like, jelly-like mass glowing with unearthly color. An amorphous, glistening magnitude of color, rolling and shining in shades of deep, unnatural spectrum. Oh, Metallic fuck. taste hits your tongue, and the air takes on a wet and slimy vapor. Uh, I need a... Uh, Sanity check, please. God fucking damn it. Okay, <laughs> Ha! Fuck you. I was just gonna nice. say, um, I uh, did you pass. Don't I don't what? You don't I... take any sanity loss. Alright, I was just gonna say, I passed either to Douglas or Emil the box of matches, so whichever one of them is gonna start doing. Emil. Yeah, I was just gonna let them Emil's know. Emil's a smoker. He's got, he's got a lighter on him. I was, I was gonna say, Doug... you mean Douglas is a smoker. I probably well, have I think own. we're all smokers. We live in the 20s. Yeah, <laughs> you're all men. <laughs> wow, we are, men in, we are men in the twenties. We smoke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, um, but as can I uh, just draw the sketch like something akin to like that image I just saw, but like a more peaceful version of it, I guess. Sure. Like, as it's coming at you. Oh, it's mm, didn't notice that a meal. You might want to leave the barn. As I'm just going to slowly start fucking running. <laughs> Never mind. I didn't realize what was coming at me. I missed it. Google. Can I take a flask of this? <laughs> Not for personal consumption, but for hopefully a raise. Taking a bottle? Sure, a bottle, yeah. Yeah, I guess you can take a bottle of this shit. <clears throat> there are plenty of bottles on the tables. Uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna, he's definitely gonna toss one in his uh, inner jacket pocket. And uh, start, uh, as soon as I was told to leave, I just uh, hit my lighter on whatever I just soaked in uh, whatever moonshine. Run back over to the entrance, grab the ga <laughs> can of gas, and just throw it into the fire and hope everything works out for the best. Okay. Which, 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 uh, we're over here, Jeeves. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's coming it's from over here. Oh, okay, okay. So oh, it's... the river? No! It's coming down the mountain and it was about to cross the river. That's where the fish are! Um, uh, we... Do... Does Miguel see this? Miguel! We gotta go! I'm repairing so the car, you... damn it! You see Emil running at you and then immediately beeline for the front door. Me. Why do you think I went immediately to repair the car, damn it? Sweetheart, it's time to go! Missy comes out of her room looking at you kind of quizzically. We gotta go. Uh, the, the funny lights are coming. Do you know what happens when the funny lights come? Panicked eyes, Not very calm voice. Can you... Oh, 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 
he grabs uh he he takes out a pen that he has oh, well no he's probably it's the 20s it's probably a pencil and uh grabs a piece of paper and like puts it on the ground can you show me what happens she pulls out that one that you should seen before about the dead bodies and the color over them it was uh, the first one i posted uh-huh okay great he picks her up <laughs> and starts fucking running. Just tell me if I successfully fixed that car up because I'm gonna go help because at this point it's better. <laughs> you see, you see Emil running out, cradling this child like uh, her head over his shoulder. Miguel, car. No! That's what I'm asking. I'm kind of working on it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm trying, been here working on this thing while you guys were supposed to burn the place. He points it at the light. It is burning. Master! Uh, Lore Master, I had all the parts and everything. <laughs> is the yeah, car fixed? Yeah, mechanical with a, uh, or uh, yeah, mechanical with a bonus. Okay. Mechanical repair. Oh, shit. Here we go, guys. Give him our luck. And here we go, oh, so... Still a 15. That drops it down to a 50. Do you 50. Have 40 luck to burn, Miser. I have 35 luck. Oh. Fuck. So... The, um... Is it possible yes. to push this while burning all my luck away? Yeah, you can push. Okay. What do I roll for the push? Do I just hit the... Just re-roll it again. Yeah, just re-roll, Miser. Okay. And pray. <laughs> We're gonna pray hard, baby. Here we go. Uh... Wrong thing. Oh, my God. Oh! What is that? Wait. No, you rolled you a rolled... zero. So that means you've rolled a nat... Like, a nat five, probably. Well, wait... That's a. No, that's... He rolled his bonus again. Yeah, you gotta roll the mechanical repair miser. Oh, the mech. Oh. I'm just gonna accept this roll. <laughs> yeah, because I think it would be funnier this way. Actually. Yeah, you somehow you're like, you're sitting there and you're sitting there and you're like, fuck! <laughs> and just like stick the part in. Yeah, I just no, go I like, imagine like. I'm like, 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 talking rapidly <laughs> in Mexican. All right, let's go, and go, I kicked the go, damn thing. Go in your carajo! Under it! <laughs> right. He's speaking his funny language again. Run! Just get in the fucking car. I just hit the metal, the pedal all the way down to the metal, go full speed. Alrighty. <laughs> we're we're so good at our. Vamanos, vamanos, vamanos! You know. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> oh, just wait till this little girl goes insane on us and tries to murder me. That's why I'm also worried too. I'm on I'm the one driving full panic mode. Well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna guess you two are in the front seat. I'm in the back with the little girl. So yeah. I mean, if she if she want if the little girl wants to kill us all, she all she has to do is stab the driver. Oh, yeah. she doesn't know that. She's a, like I, I'm I'm picturing like a five to seven year old. I need a. Uh... You know what? No, uh, you guys made it because one of you already went off to do the car. So I'm gonna say you guys made that. <laughs> were the were the moose coming back? No, I think the I think that weird monster thing was gonna chase us. Yeah, or we we would have had to look at it, and then our insanity probably would have went down. I'm gonna assume. I am not gonna go through full chase rules. <laughs> oh, <okay>, good. <laughs> All right. Um, you know the normal uh, improvements. You don't have a okay. outro. I only have three this time. I have five. One, two, three, four. 
I, I just... also have five. five. Can I go first? Yes. Sure, Davis. You, I'll, I'll let right, you be right, the proponent right, first. All right, all right. Spot hidden. I get to upgrade Good. spot hidden. Good. Stealth. I get to upgrade stealth. Thank God. Fuck. Wow. <laughs> so actually, you. Oh. Well. I got one more. Yeah, you got one more. Uh, shooting a shotgun stealth? and slitting Granny's neck was uh, easy for you. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it was. Uh, no, that is that. Is, that is, those are the four that I passed. I I, I counted wrong. Okay. So, uh, oh, you used something else and passed. Uh, you did roll. Okay. Um, I get intimidation. Listen. Oh my god. I know we literally just went over this, but what do we roll to upgrade things? One d ten. Uh, fuck. Spot hidden's fine, I guess. That's two sucks, and three. Nice. Oh, nice. My stealth goes up too. Pog. And um, All right, no. my, uh, my spot and... hitting. Oh, shit. Sorry. I'm on the. Fuck yeah. My handgun go. goes up too. So basically, spot everything but one goes thing up goes up. By two. And my stealth goes up by three. All right. I'm going to wow. roll two. I'm going to roll four of them and see what it gets. I was really hoping my guns was going to go up. Uh, five, five, one, and five. Holy shit. So, before I roll for my stuff, uh, what's our increase of luck and sanity? Uh, your sanity, I'll tell you. Um, your luck is, you roll your luck like that and add or not. Dude, my listen's at oh, six. because I was Holy wondering if we shit. got a bonus since we saved the, uh... Oh, Jeebus, oof. Oh, yeah, uh, do we yeah, get it? Yeah, shit happens. Oh, there's, there's bonuses to sanity, yes, but... Yeah. Ooh, I think I get up. My stealth, guys, is now a 21. It only went up one point. Fuck me. I get five. Oh, I get, I get the the exact luck I needed to burn for that auto roll. <laughs> that auto drive shit. Fuck you. I went up by a two and a three. I went up by one of your scores. Right. All right. So you don't. So... Um, so luck doesn't work. Oh, wait. Now you rolled the drive power. auto. Right, listen. God damn, Lazar. Oh, oof. Oof. That makes sense. I mean, you're yeah. kind of just, I'm just glad something went up finally. Three and a five. I can take that. Uh, drive all. Oh, fuck me. That's actually really bad. Uh, that, uh, that sucks. I've never been there before. All right. Oh. So, as soon as everybody's ready for their sanity, I will walk them through. Yeah. Uh, yeah just sure. give me a second. Just unclicking these buttons here, and I am good to go now. All right, so you gain one d four for dismantling the the operation. Okay. Or destroying it. Uh, you gain. You minus one d four because the color up uh, out of space survived. So we lost that. Oh, oh uh -huh. yeah. You lose one d four. You gain one d four because Missy survived. Yeah. All right. So this is gonna be You're the welcome. Minus. Wow. Okay. So I'm, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. So I'm back to so much. We're not done yet. I don't think. I know. I'm just doing it as I go, as he goes. And you gain two Cthulhu Mistos. Nice. All right, so I'll add hey. the to those mythos I'm first. back at 72. I literally got as much sanity as I got back into this game with. What the fuck? Okay. So... All right, 11 Cthulhu Mythos. You started at 73? No, no. So my sanity was that bad, and then I rolled really well for it because of the last one. So I was at 70. I was at 72 sanity. Oh, shit. I lost more sanity. Oh. Okay, that makes sense, That's, though. Uh... Alright, so plus one, minus one. Oof. That's a... And then and one more for Misty? Yeah. Yep. Alright, so I'm at a positive four. Yep. What was the uh, big Cthulhu? Two. two. I'm sorry, what? It's two points to your Cthulhu with those. Oh, no, no, no. I was asking what was the, the look of the monster that we avoided or should have killed color out of space I, I told you what it looked like it was a color out of space mm. it was a whirling mass of colors you don't understand 
Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know how to kill colors, so yeah. I decided <laughs> to run. To be fair, Jeebus, that is a correct way to play Call of Cthulhu, since we have, we're not equipped to deal with that. Yeah. I do want to point out, I'm going to post this ability that it had. <laughs> Can focus uh, and it's gonna every time you post it. Oh, you post it in Discord. Ability oh, is, is required to evacuate a lair underground. The same amount. Oh my god. So we would have just been fucking evaporated. I figured. That's a cube of 20. Yeah. Of titanium. There was no way we're going to win that. And it was even yeah, funnier. No, Running think that, was the correct choice. Yeah, yes. Taking a hit to our sanity for the sake of us living, it was actually the way to go. Yes. I don't know. I, I gained sanity because I helped a child. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, um, let me look. Can I do my math right? So I went four, so that put me at 73. So you gained it for surviving and destroying the still. You gained it for saving Missy, and you lost it because this thing's still out there in the Canadian wilderness attacking shit. Oh, it's, who cares? It's Canada. That's <laughs> We're Americans in the 20s. Why the fuck should we care about Canada? So, uh, Mariner, you should be at a plus three. Uh, yeah, I know. I I already got it. That's why I'm at 72. So I was at 69. Yeah, well, you, you, said you, you said you wanted to redo your math, so I tried to help. No, no, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. I help. So congratulations. I, I... You guys have played through all three things of uh, No Time to Scream. And we survived. Oh, these are fun. I can officially Move. say that I said that, or that we would play through them all on the radio. So, yay. <laughs> super fun, dude. Like, yeah, 100%. As I a love. confused, like, never played Call of Cthulhu. Never even thought about playing Call of Cthulhu before you're like, we're playing this. And uh, I decided to join. It was so much fun. True. Like, like, D&D gives you a lot of agency and, like, ability to, you know, overcome incredible odds. This game is the complete opposite. If there's incredible odds, you're fucking running. Yes. <laughs> yes, we run. Very much so. Or, it, or you get a drop on someone and just fucking blow them up like that one man. Yeah. Like, I'm fucking a bear. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy could have murdered us all if he got close enough. <laughs> but we had the drop and we murdered him. Oh man, that was terrifying. Because earlier, uh, me and Mana were DMing each other. I was like, "Man, I get this weird uh, color out of space vibes now." As you were talking <laughs> Why about that. Why leave me out of it? <laughs> because because we don't want to spoil you. <laughs> Mother and I knew too much Eldritch shit that we didn't I want to ruin the surprise. I, I've, I've read a lot of HP actually. Well, there's. Color is it HP? Is it like it's, yes, it's it is. Eldritch, yes. but it's Color out of space was a Lovecraft story. Yeah. Okay. And brain always forgets because I know there's some that's not that just people associate with, but yeah. Well, I just listen. I, I mean, I don't, I've listened to it while I'm playing video games, so it's like kind of like I have a general idea of the Cthulhu mythos. I do <laughs> love it. It's super fun to me, uh, and being able to be like be a part of it and be a character I would never have built. <laughs> Is super fun too. <laughs> True. All right. Play. I would have played like a hunter who lived in the wild. It lived in the Would wilderness because that's what it, I wish I could do, is go it's hunt every day. Technically, is the character I played, and then immediately twisted that. Well, you're an artist, aren't you? Artist and hunter, like hit. Um, <laughs> so, and hunter. I would. So, I would yeah. See, if I got Douglas out of it way more on the hunter side than you did i just like i love being put against my wheelhouse the, like, the I, thing, I love that the thing with um douglas um his like original backstory was he was like very well off like went to a lot of private schools also did like some hunting and other shit on the side and i was like but what if he's just a fucking panicked mess from all this <laughs> and just wanted to paint and i took it and span spun it so differently <clears throat> I, I think we all did really well and Google, yeah. if you ever need to do one shots for your new campaign like you the week you throw one of these in yeah for sure I'm all for it uh, alright so before we get sidetracked again let's do the outros and uh... yep this is uh, Goth Google, the keeper lore keeper for this evening and uh, 
I don't have any socials, but uh, in two weeks we start a whole new campaign. Um, it's going to be different than what I've run before, so we'll see where that one goes, and I will throw it over to Miser. Hello everyone, this is Miser Mark. I play as the uh, antiques dealer slash con man uh, Miguel Cortez for this series of Call of Cthulhu. I had done these a long time ago, but it's been such a long time that I became a new player again. And holy shit, I, uh, Mogul, y'all done yourself. I had fun. Being the weak little human just trying to survive the world of big hitters. You can find my content on both YouTube and Twitch under Miser Mark. I'm also the DM for Into the Wildlands, which the party are in the final arc, tying up some loose ends, saving whoever's left in a universe that has just been uh, almost depleted. So I'll hand it over to uh, Haboos. Hey everybody, I'm Jeeves the Dingus. Uh, you can find all of our Call of Cthulhu stuff on Miser's channel because somebody forgot to hit play today on the YouTube stream. <laughs> Oof. Oops. Uh, but it, no, it's it's all uh, recorded, so you can go find it on Miser's channel. Uh, my Twitch stuff, uh, I, I have been uh, quite a bit of a piece of shit, but I also had pneumonia for the past two weeks, so I'm finally getting better from it. And I didn't cough once this session, and I'm proud of that. So uh, probably this week we'll see some more Hollow Knight. Finally, uh, we I am going to finish the game. There is no doubt in my mind against that. I've just been, you know, dying and didn't want to stream because I couldn't breathe for some reason. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, yeah, no, Tuesday we're going to be playing Monster Hunter with Rowan. Uh, then Wednesday, I'll probably stream. It's either, it's either going to be a Wednesday stream or Wednesday stream or a Thursday stream for, uh, for some Hollow Nights. Then as soon as I get frustrated with that, we'll see what we do, what we play after. If we do play anything after, but, uh, no, we've been having so much fun with, uh, these 2D platformer souls likes. So I'm not stopping it. I just was dying for two weeks. Oh. Mariner? Hello. I love how you called Metroidvanias Souls-like. Makes me laugh. Well, but, um, uh, Hollow Knight's a Souls-like, is it not? No, it's, it's Metroidvania. It's a Metroidvania. Just... Well, that's, again, 2D. 2D? Not my thing. I don't know 2Ds. Yeah. 2Ds nuts. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You can have a Metroidvania Souls-like. Yeah. I guess, yeah, but, like, I think most people closely associate it more to Metroidvania than Souls-like. It has... I'll put it this way. It has oh, the Metroidvania mechanics, but it has a Souls vibe to it. I was gonna say, yeah. I mean, I think the Souls-like version of it is because you have to go find your dead body and kill yourself. <laughs> True. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, I am Transpace Mariner. I play Douglas, as well as a host of other characters in different games. I apologize for... No stream or anything yesterday. Just obviously with Jeeves being sick and some other stuff. We, I've been just kind of sitting on one in the chamber right now. We'll get back to it once everyone's raring and good to go. Hopefully soon. And yeah, um, currently I'm trying to stream at least um, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Tuesday at least I'm looking to stream some web fishing. David do that a little bit and then i'll kind of just figure it out from there i don't have an exact list of what i want to do but we'll see and yeah i'll throw it back to moogle to close this out yep so that's been it for this evening have a good night and we'll see you again sunday Woo! Bye. have fun everyone don't let the tentacles no, grab right, you tonight you all go have fun watch your favorite streamers we love you bye